Royal Family, the Warzone Pacific Caldera map is out right now. Let's check out the trailer and let's check out the changes that are coming for Season 1, Warzone Pacific. Let's go, guys. All right, let's go, man. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I'm excited. I cannot wait. Next week, baby. Travelers, explorers, adventure seekers. It looks With beautiful. All to Caldera lifted, you may now book tickets to Caldera on Pacific Horizon Air. Caldera, a hidden paradise. Enjoy awe-inspiring landscapes. Oh, my goodness. Visit sites from Caldera's storied past. There's going to be a lot of spots rock formations. to hang out at. Oh, Explore man. It's going to be crazy. Take a dip in a river or stream. We're going to have cave campers. Isn't that amazing? Seasonal organic produce harvested locally. The colors, guys. Oh, my gosh. It gives me the blackout feels of the colors. Pacific Horizon Air is not responsible for any death, parachute related accidents, gas related deaths, or injury, anti aircraft. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Should Pacific Horizon Air become engaged in aerial combat, an early exit may be required. What are you waiting for? Book your trip today. Oh, man. The journey begins December 9th. Call of Duty Vanguard. Buy now and get the 24 hour exclusive access. And you already know your boy, King Muggsy, is going to be there on December 8th to show you guys. What is up with Warzone Pacific Caldera? I cannot wait, Royal Family. So let's go ahead and go through the changes and what's coming for season one. It's going to be insane. All right. These are the notes that they have for season one and the changes. So you got the gas mask and explosive canister. So the gas mask won't have that gas mask glitch that we all struggled in in Warzone. So apparently when you put on the mask or take off the mask, it won't affect you like it was before. Also, plating and reloading weapon while getting out of the circle won't be a pain in the butt, but it will always favor the person or the team that are inside the circle waiting for you. So make sure you get in that circle as fast as you can. Now, with the gas mask, it can also help you protect you from the gas canisters. It's a brand new item that they added in there where you carry a big canister and you could throw it and you could blow it up, you know, by shooting at it. And it, and it creates this this ball of gas like you you know the ones that you run away from from the storm and it creates this ball of gas and it is a certain radius where you can keep a team in there and affect their gameplay and i guess their movements so this canister can be a big game changer but if you have a gas mask you can avoid it and still shoot at your opponent and it won't affect you um also the shallow water they won't have the swimming mechanic but if you happen to go into the water, it hides your footsteps and it's about knee high with the water. And if you happen to crouch down, it will give you that cold blooded effect, but you cannot go prone and hide in the water. So that's an awesome part about it that I like to hear. Cause I was kind of wondering like, man, there's water in there. Are people gonna be able to lay down and you won't be able to see them. They're gonna have a straw popping out of the water and hang in there the whole time. But that is an awesome change for sure. For gas mask and then the new explosive canisters. Let's go to the next one. Next one will be the Gulag drop back ready for combat. So the Gulag, of course, will be a new map. But the best part about this news, you get the gun that you win with. So for those who played Iron Trials, every time you win your Gulag, you would take the gun that you won with. So for those who win now in the Gulag, you don't have to worry about the pistols. And if you happen to get an awesome AR or a good SMG, you can have that right off the rip. And you don't have to worry about trying to find a loadout uh right away and you can just join up with your team and regain and that's the best part about the gulag i love that change i love how you can come back with the gun especially an ar or an smg all right next one all right so the next one's gonna be contracts and public events from what i read on here the big one that they're, that they're showing is the big game bounty and that's going to target operators who have the highest kill count and that will probably give you the most cash for you and your teammates and you already know that's going to be a big plus when it comes to finding the last couple people or last couple teams in this map because as you can see there's a lot of spots that people can hide in and it's going to be interesting and how we're going to be pushing people for sure so that is the big part of the contract with the big game bounty all right next one is the loadout items and field upgrades dead silence is being nerfed and stopping power rounds are gone that is a big w heartbeat sensors stuns are going to be nerfed cali sticks all those wield uh, melee weapons are going to be nerfed. That's going to be a big W for resurgence and, you know, in Rebirth Island. Another big change. You cannot buy a loadout until after the loadout drop event. So remember at, uh, at the end of the first circle where your loadout comes down and it's for free. 
or you have to use your ground loot to get to survive until that loadout event happens and then after that you can buy your next loadout so that's gonna be a big game changer so you better get good with the ground loot guys so you don't get killed and you can get your first loadout drop when the loadout drop event happens that is a big change for sure and that's going to be a game changer uh when it comes to waiting for your loadout or being aggressive with the ground loot that you already have in your hands so a lot of stuff is going to be nerfed when it comes to your lethals your tactical equipments and like i said no dead silence stopping power rounds are gone and the loadout drops are going to be a big change for sure all right royal family that is the update for season one warzone pacific there's a lot of changes and i see a lot of wins in these updates and i cannot wait to play on december 8th hope you guys are excited make sure you drop a like subscribe so you guys can be updated for more warzone content let's go baby